Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. In this video, I will discuss a lots of things. Very conceptual and very interesting, very important this video will be. So watch this video patiently till the end. Okay, this video can be a long video because I will uh, discuss many things in this video. So first I will discuss the Maxwell's equation from the very fundamental uh, level. I will discuss these concepts and then the generalization of Ampere's law the generalization of Ampere's law yes you will understand later in this video what I am saying yes this is the same Ampere's law the Ampere's law of magnetostatics the same Ampere's law here and this Ampere's law needs to correction and why that will I that I will discuss in this video and then the displacement current the displacement current so start this let's start this video now before Maxwell the electricity and the magnetism the, all the formulations of electricity and magnetism were a uh, thing that these are these two things are different by people but after maxwell that means the maxwell the scientist scientist maxwell did what maxwell collected all the things all the uh, formulas and all the concepts of electricity and magnetism and try it to connect tried maxwell tried to connect all the things and he converges this all things into 20 equations 20 equations which uh, governs all the phenomena of electromagnetic theory now the maxwellians yes the maxwellians who maxwellians that means who followed maxwell's there were a group of scientists who follow maxwell and they call themselves the Maxwellians. They did what? They uh, comprises or they uh, summarize all the 20 uh, equations of Maxwell into four fundamental equations. And these are called the Maxwell's equation, the four fundamental equations. So what are these four fundamental equations? These are number one, del dot E. Del dot E is equals to rho over epsilon this is what the electrostatics okay you all know this now number two del dot b is equals to zero which is always happened which always happened del dot b is equal to zero number three the faraday's law that means the del cross e is equals to minus del b del t and number four these three were maxwell's equation and number four this this is not the Maxwell's equation. What is this? This is a del cross B is equals to del cross B is equals to mu J. Now this fourth equation is what the Ampere's law. This is the Ampere's circuital law. Ampere's circuitous law. How? Because this is curl of B is equals to mu J, right? So if we integrate this with ds del cross b dot ds dot ds and if we integrate this then using the uh, stokes curl theorem i can write that b dot dl will be equals to this piece what j dot ds integration of j dot ds will be what i so mu i so this is what this is our so called ampere's law so this is the converted form of ampere's law but this is not the maxwell's fourth equation maxwell did what maxwell converted this or maxwell modified or generalized this equation why the generalization needs why this is not uh, is this not true yes it is true but it is not the generalized why i will discuss in this video very detailedly from many perspective from many angle of uh, point of views i will discuss why this equation is not valid or is not valid in many cases so now i can write all the equations in terms of h vector so i know we know that b is equals to mu h okay b is equal to mu h i i think that you all know so in terms of h vector i can write that this equation that this will be look like j uh, del cross h is equals to j as uh, b is equal to mu h so mu will be cancelled out from both sides so this will be del cross h equal to j so uh, i can generalize these all things you can also generalize the all things for free space in free space what happens the charge density will be equal to zero so this del dot a will be equal to zero del cross a, del cross b will be equal to zero always and all the things will be modified in the 
given conditions. So these are the basics. These are the Maxwell's equation. This is not the Maxwell's equation. This needs to be corrected. Now let us consider a case of capacitor. Let us consider a charging of capacitor. These are the two players of the capacitor, and these are currents. So this is gathering suppose positive charge and this is gathering negative charge in this plate. Now what happens we know that whenever there is a steady current in a uh, current carrying wire the magnetic field is induced nearby. Okay. Now so whenever we uh, brought a magnetic needle or a compass then the compass needle will deflect in this region. Yes it is uh, experimentally observed. It is fine but whenever we take the compass in this region this should not deflect because here is no current we can see nothing in this region here is no current current is flowing in these regions here it is empty here is not current but the experiment says that here also the magnetic needle deflects the magnetic needle deflects so what is this the magnetic needle deflects that means that there must be a magnetic field but we know that magnetic field when comes the magnetic field when there is a steady current there uh, is a magnetic field generated but here, here there is no current steady current so why the magnetic field is generated here this is one question now the another question is yes the this is suppose a circuit uh, circuit okay completing the circuit so the circuit is here the uh, current is flowing all over in the circuit but here it is discontinuity here is a discontinuity here what is what is continuing this this uh, circuit so there must be a current which is uh, connecting all the circuits okay you will understand it later on this video you will explicitly understand this okay clear this will be clear in the end of the video why i am saying this so i am initially i am removing this okay now to clarify that why this equation this fourth equation has to be corrected now number one from the continuity equation del dot j plus del rho over del t is equals to zero we know that so from here i can write a del dot j will be equal to minus del rho over del t right so i have uh, you have got this now from here from here or from here if we take the divergence we know that del dot del cross any vector the divergence of curl of any vector is equals to zero it is proved from vector calculus the divergence of curl of any vector is equal to zero so if we take the divergence in both sides of this equation then what happens then this will be del dot j and this has to be zero equal to because the left hand side is already equal to zero so the right hand side must be equal to zero so from here i can write the del dot j is equal to zero but from here what is coming out del dot j is equal to minus del rho del t so these two things this thing and this thing is directly contradict each other so this is a drawback now number two it is it is very much important number two case number two is very much important so i am just removing this two uh, now from this equation i can write in terms of h vector that h dot dl will be equal to what mu will be cancelled out h dot dl will be i right so h dot dl will be i and which is equals to which is also equals to j dot ds right so i can write that h dot dl closed curved over a closed curve as this is a line integral is equals to integration j dot ds j dot ds and this is what a surface integration now these rows are equal so what it is denoting just understand it physically that suppose uh, this is a current carrying wire and the current is flowing in this this direction and i am uh, uh, using a closed curve c right this is like c so this s can be any surface this s can be any surface bounded by this curve okay so this surface can be this surface 
suppose this is the circle so the plane of the circle this surface the plane this surface or this can be any arbitrary shape like this surface like this surface any surface this s can be but the value of the both sides will be equal these two sides will be equal so i will implement this concept here this will uh, coming out to be a very interesting result okay so now uh, so i am removing these all things okay so i am taking two surfaces so one surface that is the plane of the the circle or the plane of the uh, closed curve and this is the closed curve and this is the plane of the closed curve so this is i am denoting with a so one surface and the another surface which is like this which is like this this is the another surface suppose s2 this is like this a balloon shaped surface okay but it is not closed and current is flowing in this direction and here it stops current flow now what will be this so this is equals to i right so here is two cases one is for s1 surface and another is h dot dl this will be same the left hand side will be same but the right hand side will be s2 j dot ds but this is for s2 surface okay now we don't know what is the uh, result okay let us uh, let us uh, just understand what will happen okay now for first case s1 for s1 surface s1 surface it is clear that i this is equal this will, this will be equal to i because for s1 surface s1 surface is for the for s1 surface current is flowing through this surface right current is passing through this surface this is the surface suppose current is passing through it so the j dot ds over this surface will be equal to i the current that is passing in this region right this is i so i am denoting it with i but in the next scenario what is happening in s2 as this is the balloon shaped surface and it is not closed and current is not passing this current is not in this direction current is ending in this in this region here so i can say that current is not passing out of this surface right that means the j dot ds of this surface s2 will be equals to zero okay it is clear i think so these two directly contradicts why contradicts because the left hand side is equal these two are equal but the right hand sides are not equal so the equation the fundamental equation which is what the fourth equation needs to correction needs to be corrected this fundamental equation now maxwell did this correction maxwell proved this all the things mathematically and did the correction now maxwell said that the ampere's law that is curl of h is equal to j this has to be corrected and the correction will be what this will be j plus jd introduces one more term with a j and that is j plus jd and this jd should be taken or this jd must be equal to in this jd should be such that the del dot j plus jd is equals to zero he proposed this del dot j plus jd will be equal to zero then what happens then all the things which i have just covered that all these contradictions all these errors will be cancelled out will be just okay all the things will be clear now how let us understand now from here <coughs> if if it is taken that then then if we take the divergence in both the sides then what happens then <coughs> now del dot this del dot this but now this is equal to zero applying this condition so it is clear the left hand side is equal to zero and the right hand side is equal to zero so it is now okay now from here i can write that del dot jd is equals to minus of del dot j okay now del dot j is equals to minus del rho over del t which is what the continuity equation when uh, the charge density changes the continuation the continuity equations look like this okay so i have discussed this previously so i am putting this value minus del rho over del t so this will be del rho over del t okay so now 
del del t i can write this del del t into del dot d yes del dot d this is what displacement vector displacement vector d is equal to epsilon into e and for free space this will be epsilon 0 okay so d vector is equal to epsilon e i think that you have already know this so uh this will happen so uh, the equation the first equation del dot e is equals to rho uh, rho over epsilon not if we rho over epsilon so if we multiply with epsilon in both sides then what happens then we come to this point then del dot d del dot d this will be del dot epsilon into e and epsilon into e what is d epsilon is, uh, d, is this will be d so del dot d is will, will will be equal to rho so from this and this comparing these two things i can write that jd okay for, uh, i can also simplify it del dot the divergence will be taken outside and this will be del del t of d vector now if we compare this thing and this thing then what happens jd will be equals to del 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 d or del t or more simply i can write that jd will be equal to epsilon del e over del t so this is what this jd is the displacement current density very much important this is our displacement current density so in terms of jd i can write the fourth maxwell equation now the fourth maxwell fourth maxwell equation comes maxwell corrected this and he used this as the maxwell's equation now the fourth maxwell equation will be uh, tail cross h is equals to j plus j plus jd and jd is what epsilon into daily del t so this is the fourth maxwell equation now why i am calling i am not why this term this epsilon into daily del t is called the displacement current why it is called current right so as here i can see nothing current nothing current element is there in this region but why it is why it is called current because we know that whenever there is a current there is a magnetic field and this in this region the magnetic needle is deflecting so there will be a magnetic field which is generated by this deflecting this displacement current so this is termed as a displacement current which is generating the magnetic field in this region okay so this is the this is that current now you can understand why i am said i have said that this uh, circuit must be closed uh, so the wh what what is connecting here in this region here in this region the current that is connecting uh, the total circuit that is this displacement current this displacement current here in this in the circuit uh, in the wires in the wires the current density is jc this is also denoted by jc the conduction current which is usual currents but in this hollow space in this free space what is continuing continuing the current the displacement current which we call the electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic wave yes this is the light epsilon daily delta this is the light so in detail i will discuss in the in one another video i will make a, another video to discuss these concepts as these concepts are uh, very much large and many things I, I cannot discuss in this video as this video will be very much large then so i will discuss the latter things in that video and whenever the video is made i will give the link in the description box of this video okay so i think that this video is very much very much uh, helpful and very much enjoying so i think that i have covered all the things okay so share this video with your friends and take care of yourself thank you for watching